Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I'm going to bring you my review of Orange Volume 1 and Orange Volume 2 by Ichigo Takano. So if you don't know what Orange is about, it is about a girl named Naho. She is going into her first day of school in the 11th grade, but before that she receives a letter from 10 years in the future from her future self. And that letter is basically telling her that a new student is transferring into her school named Kakaru, and it's basically begging her to watch out for him and save him from a terrible future that her future self obviously regrets, and it's about her and her friends trying to save him. What are they saving him from? You just have to find out. You don't know. It is a two-part volume, volume one and volume two, so it's very doable, very easy. If you've never tried picking up graphic novels or manga before, I highly, highly recommend this. It's super easy to follow. I really enjoyed this one. Oh, and I knew I went to Books Million and bought the first volume and they had a buy one get one 50% off deal and I was like hmm should I buy both volumes because they're kind of pricey they're $20 each I was like no no like I don't know if I'm gonna like it so let me only buy the first one and of course I freaking loved it and at 12 o'clock at midnight I'm like oh let me just grab the second volume and what I didn't buy it oh yeah I did not buy that copy and I could have gotten it for 50% off so me being stupid, I had to go back today and buy the other one and I just finished it like literally 10 minutes ago and oh, let me tell you guys, this was fantastic. So good. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I do have some problems with it but I'll explain it further because they're kind of spoily so I'll do that at the end. One thing I think is really important about this book rather other than the you know overall like feels and emotion is that it does touch on the topic of depression a lot. Yeah, they do talk about the, how serious depression is and I really appreciated that. I have to say nothing was really bothersome for me except for how abrupt the ending was. You know, part one, read that, did, and then so I'm getting towards the end. I'm reading this literally less than an hour ago. I'm reading it, getting so exciting, things are happening, and then what? It's over. Look, look how thick this is and they fool you because this volume includes an extra bonus story. So I was like, oh, bonus story. I'll probably be like three or four pages. No, it it just ended right it ended right here. I was at this part like already crying over things that are happening. I was like, oh, I'm fine. It's fine. There's still this much of the manga left. No, you turn the page and it's a new story. You, how does it? How can it end there? Like, I don't understand. And that was like the only thing that really bothered me was how abrupt the ending was. Cause I mean, everything I wanted to happen happened, but not really. And I just, I wanted more cause I'm not really satisfied. I just, I wanted to find out more about these characters and uh, <laughs> I also love the friendships in this one. Sometimes in manga, it's kind of hard for me to follow all the names just because, you know, they're sometimes hard to pronounce or they're just very similar. But this one, there's six main characters and they were super easy to follow. Each one of them had like, such standout personalities. I loved every single one of them. I do have to say that Naho, she did bug me sometimes because the letter, the letters that she is reading from her future self are telling her, do this, you should do this or you'll regret it in the future. Do this, do this. It's, girl, your future self is literally telling you you need to do these things. Things and she still doesn't do them. I guess yes in the situation she was put in it would still be very hard even though your future self is telling you but I'm like girl it made me so aggravated sometimes just do what your future self is telling you and it will be okay just, and then you just stand there and don't do it. Come on Naho. Come on. On. This is just a great story. If you know the events of the future, what can you do to prevent those events from happening? What can you do in the present to change that? It's so important and it has it discusses such important topics that we need to be aware of. And like I said again, the friendship, I loved each one of these characters. They were so funny. A lot of people told me I would probably cry in this one, which I did. But I did not expect to laugh so much. They were hilarious and it's super easy to read. I love the art style. It's so nice. I love them so much. I just like holding them. I'm like, mm. I'm weird. Trust me guys when I say you need to read these two. They were so fantastic and if you feel like 
getting the feels, getting all them high school friendship feels and everything. Just, oh, I love this story. It's probably one of my new favorites and actually they transferred it to anime. So I'm excited to see how they do that. If you like, you know, time travel, the aspect of time traveling, obviously, cause she's receiving these bundles of letters from the future. Definitely check this out. It's very much similar to like, you know, the girl who leapt through time, that movie and erase, which is also another manga and another anime, which you should highly check out. It's my favorite top 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 anime best all right so now i'm gonna go into spoilers feel free to discuss with me in the comments below i just need to talk about the ending a little bit and i don't want to spoil you so if you have not read this book please leave please check it out if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give it a like all right goodbye spoily people get out leave if you haven't read this just leave all right bye all right guys, like I was saying, I, I can't believe it just ended right here. How does it just end right here? They save Kakaru, which I I was pretty confident that they were gonna save him. Like, okay, we can't go through this whole book and he just died. And at first I thought he did die because I think it like goes to a blackout because he almost gets hit by that van or truck or whatever. So I thought he did die for a second. Shit, no, no way. But again, you know, oh, I have this much book left and no, you don't, it just ends. And he was writing the letter in the time capsule. I hope I become a soccer player. I hope I marry Naho. I want to know what happens. Was there a parallel universe? Were there two different timelines? I was a little confused because then the last little clip where they do show like Naho carrying a baby, is that just the other timeline and them drifting off? So it was it two timelines? Do her and Sue in that present timeline, they continue to like have their life, they're married, and Kakaru isn't alive in that one? Or the same timeline and now things are changed? I want to know what happens to them. I want to know if she ends up with Kakaru after that whole ordeal. Ugh. Girl, it was so obvious that Kakaru liked her and that she liked him. So I, 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 just, I don't understand this girl. Sometimes she just made me so mad, but I still love it. But uh, so many things were left open ended. I want to know what happens to the other characters. That other couple, did they get together? I wanted to see their friendship. Just a tiny little epilogue would have been nice. I feel like it's obviously very evident that Kakaru has severe depression and suicidal thoughts. And just because they tell Kakaru that he was gonna die and that they saved him, so I, I think it is resolved a little bit in that way. He knows now that. He He's not going to be alone. He has these people to be there for him when he didn't think he did before. But still, just because he has those thoughts, he could still potentially be very suicidal in the future. So that's why I would have liked an epilogue to see their future carried out more. And I wanted to see like, okay, it did work. And 10 years from now, they are still together. Just in that moment, yeah, he's happy. But it's very easy when you're by yourself and alone to go back into that dark place. I want it to be confirmed that things worked out. Like I said, just like a tiny epilogue, it could be one page or one picture of them of being like 10 years later and they're all watching like the cherry blossoms or something. That would have been nice. I sound like I'm complaining a lot, but honestly, I'm not because I'm only complaining about this one part and everything else was fantastic. I loved how it played out, seeing all of Kakaru and Naho weird, embarrassing moments together. It was so great. And Sua, oh, that's so selfless of him to know that he had that potential happy future with Naho and they had a baby, but he would give that up so that she could be with Kakaru and save his friend. That took a lot. And I was like, oh man, I feel for you so hard. Like, ugh. All right, guys, that is the end of my review for Orange Volume 1 and Volume 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to discuss with me in the comments anything else I didn't mention before. Like I said, I didn't want to get too in depth with this video, just my overall thoughts. Let me know what you thought. Also, if you have any manga recommendations you think I should read or ones that you really love, please let me know. I'm always down to recommendations, looking for new graphic novels and manga. So if you do, please hit me up in the comments or Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Just give it a like and subscribe in the down bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ashley. This is Ashley Outpage. Bye. Thank you.